So a guy walks into his shop and he says, hi, I'd like a gas cap for my IKEA. The man looks at him for a second and he says, okay, that seems like a fair trade. Um, the reason I make that joke is because in about two days I'll be going on my first cross-country road trip and I'm actually going with my girlfriend. It'll be fun. Um, so during the speech I will talk about the benefits of driving versus flying and also the difficulties along the way that we are both really hoping to avoid. Um, driving can be absolutely dangerous and even deadly. I kind of want to remind myself of that before we take off. Um, according to data I found from a site called besthealthdegrees.com, one in 6,700 Americans will die in a car accident. It's a little frightening. I don't know, I try not to be too morbid, but it is kind of pales in comparison when you looked at the same website, it says one in 101,083 people will die skydiving. So it's, it's a much more risky thing to go skydiving than to drive cross country, but it's still something that we need to think about. Um, despite the inherent risk, I like to think that a lot of us in America are so ingrained in the motor culture that driving is like a favorite pastime for most of us. I know I can still remember how free I felt when I got my driver's license when I was 16 years old. Everything just seemed bigger. It seemed like I had more opportunity. There were more things to see. And just like getting on the road and going just gave me like a huge sense of joy and feeling that I could extend my opportunity. Um, and I think everyone, and I hope in this class, can reflect on some fond memories they had of driving and you know, just some good times when they spent in the car. So I'm guessing that upon starting our road trip and driving the first couple hundred miles or a thousand miles, we'll still have that same sense of like renewed freedom. That'll be cool. Along our road trip, we are hoping to first, we're going to, we're leaving from Massachusetts. We're leaving from a town called Newbury, Massachusetts. And we're going to try to go from Newbury to Buffalo, New York in the first day. From there, we're going to try to go from Buffalo to Chicago. Sorry, I'm doing this from memory. We haven't actually sat out and planned the whole trip like I know we should have by now. But from Chicago, we are going to try to get to somewhere in Nebraska, probably Lincoln, Nebraska. Spend a night there and then take another day to get um, to Denver or just outside of Denver. We'd like to make it to Denver. Um, from Denver, we're going to go to the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon to Las Vegas. And then from there, we will be going to my home in California. I'm doing this because I am starting a physical therapy program in California, and my girlfriend is graduating from the college that we both went to in Burlington, Vermont. So we're moving out to an apartment we have set up in California, and she'll be getting a job or doing something cool, and I'll be doing school, which is, is fun in its own way, I guess. Um, anyway, in conclusion, I guess while well, driving might not be as safe as sitting on your couch and watching your favorite sitcom, it's worth the risk, I like to think, and I'm glad we're driving, we're not flying, because I think we're going to save some money in the end, even though we're going to spend some money on hotels and campsites, that kind of thing, but um, I also think we're going to see a lot of America that, you know, a lot of people don't get to see nowadays, where most people fly when they go on long trips, um, and I just wanted to make a note that one thing we need to do, and I want to remind myself to re definitely reduce the risk of having an accident, is to put down our phones when we're driving. And we should also make sure that we have the GPS set before we actually start driving, because I know that's something that I do. I start driving, and I'm like, why did I not set my GPS? So I pull it out, and I start doing it while I'm driving, and that is not safe at all. So I'm going to try really hard on this trip not to do that. Anyway, thank you very much, guys.